A new year gives us pause to look back on the previous year, and when it comes to health news, some of the major stories of 2019 are quite troubling. Eyewitness News Health Beat reporter Mark Hiller is here to explain. Mark. Candace, the problem of addiction that's dominated health news for several years now remained as concerning as ever, and a key emerging culprit was vaping. What's become those all too familiar plumes of vapor in the air represent a nicotine driven habit that dominated news coverage in 2019. Vaping was blamed for 54 deaths nationwide. And by the end of the year, the CDC also tallied more than 2,500 hospitalizations because of life threatening respiratory problems linked to e-cigarettes. Many researchers blame vitamin E acetate, an additive found in marijuana laced vapes. If we look at the, the vaping and the different products that are available right now, uh, the accessibility is just immense. A new federal law took effect by the end of 2019, raising the minimum age from 18 to 21 to purchase vaping and tobacco products. While vaping took hold, another danger remained constant. People don't understand it's not just a physical, it's a mental addiction as well. She's in recovery from opioid addiction, which claimed the lives of tens of thousands of people nationwide in 2019. Besides deaths from prescription opioid abuse, other fatalities were blamed on prescription opioids used illegally and mixed with heroin and fentanyl. The opioid crisis led to a growing number of counties participating in COPE, the Comprehensive Opioid Abuse Site-Based Program. Federal funding allows qualifying counties to add staff who then analyze data to learn why and how so many are dying from opioids. To be able to hire and dedicate personnel in order to address this on a consistent and sustained basis is, is truly the key. 2019 also saw a measled surge nationally and globally as anti-vaxxers cited religious, philosophical or personal beliefs to refuse vaccination for their children. Some states passed laws to ban those exemptions. If there's major threats to everyone, we have to be concerned about that as a society in our country. Cannabidiol or CBD usage soared in 2019, although questions remain about medicinal and safety claims. And as I reported last March, the American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association cited a risk of bleeding to back off recommending a daily aspirin to prevent a first-time heart attack or stroke. With the Health Beat, Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News.